my channel welcome to a flip through this is cross stitcher magazine i did make mention of this in my floss tube at the beginning of the month stand by while i open this it's gonna be noisy oh maybe not it's too sticky <laughs> so it's it's not giving me that horrible rip all right i really to be honest i hesitated with this but this is a different company than the immediate media so i kind of thought oh we'll give it a go it's got this as its freebie and um yeah meh <laughs> to be honest i did not think much i like the cross stitching bit i the felty bit yeah not so much but it comes with everything two beads two beads two seed beads for the eyes lots of floss lots and lots of pink um oh God. they there does appear to be some different colors in there of the pink i hate when they do that to a kit it's like trying to tell what's what is horrible and then needle and cross stitch stuff well i'll look at the instructions when i get to it inside so this is a warner's group publications it is the september edition it's australia and we get things ever so slightly gulp yeah far behind so oh here she is um so there's the tortoise pin cushion they actually start putting i'll give you the sneaky they start putting the pattern stuff on the very first page it's like wow okay maybe i haven't had anything from warner media to be honest, I just buy opportunistically in my news agency um, and I'm not in there every week or anything. They get them in on a Thursday and that's pretty much it. So the instructions, what was I looking for? The floss. Okay, so the colours All right, are here. So we've got lavender, yellow, light pink, green, pink and blue. We have... Lavender, okay, purple is obvious, the blue is obvious, the yellow is obvious, the green is obvious, and the rest is all the pink. So, all of this pink shell is the pink, that's why there's so much pink. Okay, what was? No, not now. I'm showing a uh, magazine. It shows you how to do the lazy daisy stitch, though. I, you know, I was telling, um, my psychologist well what the hell i was telling my psychologist this this morning how i remembered i had a memory of learning how to stitch my step kit has been asking me to show her how to do some sewing because she wants to fix something but she was asking me how to do some sewing and i was telling my psych how um i've got this memory of me as a kid and what feels like something around this size kind of coarse grain you know maybe not ada but something with a fairly coarse thread or something learning how to do sewing so i had a running stitch and i had a straight stitch and then i had some daisy stitches and things like that just kind of like that image there i don't know any more about it than that and she thinks that it must have been a very young memory of mine um to only have that tiny tiny fragment i don't know if it was school teaching me or if it was my mum teaching me my mum was sick from well, the age of seven, but she was going downhill rapidly from the age of ten. So, yeah. Um, I don't know where that memory is attached to. So, we've got quite a few different things in this. We've got the swallows. Um, it's kind of simple, if you like. The simple pattern. We've got the rose, which is a little bit more kind of traditional. But that's a cushion that's... Well, that's really funny because it's showing cross stitch. Yeah, I don't think that's as simple as simple cross stitch this one um, because it's showing a chair and it's full size. So there's no way cross stitch would be that big. There's letter musical instruments with the letters there. Oh, I'm trying to figure out. I think there are rats. It's a rat telling a story to the kitty rats. Then we've got more of a sampler kind of thing. It says, feel, feel a crisp fall breeze, jump into the autumn leaves. And then the rest is kind of sampler, autumn-y kind of thing. Then we've got this. This is kind of interesting with the hoops and the 
kind of Christmas decoration -y almost. Um, this is nice. I like this with the old traditional sewing machines, the, the ones, the treadle machines that you used to pump. Have you ever used one of those? They're freaky. I'm trying to get the balance of the pedals. is It's a learning thing. The Biscornu in Hedgehogs. Now it's only half a Biscornu. The um, back half of that is blue fabric by the look of that. Um, then you've got the Savvy Stitcher doing some back to school projects because in the northern hemisphere you guys are only starting school okay so there's an ad yes it's an ad for Zweigart feathers which is a new I think it's a new theme of colors that they've got so the brown tones uh, out there okay Every month they showcase the latest high street trends, new ideas and inspiring personalities from today's stylish, for today's stylish cross stitcher. They've got buttons from Maple Farm and as a result of the buttons, they also have the fabrics for the soft toys for these kind of cow, pig and cow. But the buttons are gorgeous. They're just a fabric button. Um... Reader's own sewing space. We've got somebody who's... <laughs> These are not normal people. Who's got a, such a good, neat sewing space as that? That's that's just wrong. <laughs> you clearly aren't creative enough. I'm seriously joking. If you have a neat space, good on you. How? <laughs> Please tell us. These I love. These are like a needle holders. I love the wooden cases, though, um, for holding your needles in. I think they're just that extra little bit of class um pip and chip these are floss holders now rachel actually had floss holders um was it a llama yeah it went around the belly of the llama this is turtle if you can get somebody who can do some laser cutting you could make your own creature library for your floss in fact what you could almost do is have creatures per kit how crazy does that sound creatures for or you're not a mermaid stitch along you could have a seahorse theme for all your floss buddies that go onto that laser cutting or even cricketing um, and you do it into cardstock that would be so cool there you go copyright pippa <laughs> thanks um Somebody's got a sewing machine. I thought it was an iron, to be honest. It's a sewing machine badge from that. Bit of a pattern there at the bottom of the page. Stitching with Jess. Jessica Savage is the designer. She's designed a bookmark and it's a whale. That's actually quite cool. It's like a humpback whale coming out of the water. And I won't show you the pattern because it's literally just showing the pattern. It's just backstitched. Anybody could do it with colour flosses. Um, that would be kind of cool. Let me see. Can you see it? There. So you've got the stop front of the whale here, the tail coming up out of the water, and this is all waves. So the idea of me showing it to you like this is that you're not going to be able to copy it, but you know, you might get an idea and go, oh, that's really cool. Um, late summer savings. Well, you're probably done by that. On that, there's thread organizers. These are quite simple in the um, rounded rectangles. Um, magnetic hanging frames. They're getting so popular even in the diamond painting field. These folding scissors. Oh my God. I actually sliced both my thumbs when I opened one one day a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they're really sharp. I have them in the metal. I love the metal, the rose gold um, handles. They're 350 sterling. Um, and I also have them in plastic and I, they are really, really handy to be able to throw into a project. You know, your blades aren't going to go anywhere dangerous and to be able to have, you know, multiple pairs of scissors because they're also cheap. Um, really, really cool. You can order all these online from Willow Fabrics and then there's fabric with uh, printed clouds, sky kind of thing. These here um, printed backgrounds in the background of um, a special piece and then there's clouds as well so willow fabrics if you want to check them out over in the UK uh, this is cute I kind of like I, I'm liking these more and more um, 
if you have this is say 60 by 60 stitches wait now wait, uh, dimensions okay dimensions are three and a half by four inches sophie's just playing with some toys three and a half by four inches you're talking this is centimeters um three and a half by four inches that's one two three and a half you're talking eight centimeters right and i've just got a ruler just off the page okay so um eight centimeters you're talking six by eight so you're talking the skinny end of a postcard that's not a big frame and you could do lots of these little picture frames box frames even that you buy in the thrift store you could even recycle cardboard boxes um, little packing boxes and things but you could make this so that you 3d it so you've got September themes you've got the color bobbin on a you know floss bobbin hot chocolate back to school scarf do this as you want you could even do this for the southern, he southern hemisphere and change this back to school um, to more of a kind of summery theme swap it around even for the month to the summer month that all of this kind of thing happens and you're just changing the month out at the top but this is really cool and you could use the box um the box frame to for instance put in some dehydrated marshmallows some dry marshmallows you could put in some dried leaves you could put in some acorns you could put in some conkers um horse chestnut fruit you know um sycamore helicopters all of that kind of thing you could put into a box frame and really make it um um, um, um what do they call it um oh there's a particular name my stepdaughter has got for her box pictures like it's a it's like a 3d scene that kind of thing that, that's just where my brain's kind of going um the swallows now this was on the front cover or inside the front cover that didn't look so crash hot that actually looks quite nice blown up full um i love swallows i have watched swallows for many many years um over in ireland and in australia we actually call them welcome swallows down here uh i think it's the same breed of swallow maybe maybe they go to a different location north and south but yeah we call them welcome swallows i love seeing them swoop we used to get them a lot because the house i used to live in had this um the house was raised up from the lower kind of flat area where the kids could play on so they'd swoop across the grass um eating the flies and stuff so absolutely adore swallows the only things i didn't like them getting were things like dragonflies i love dragonflies <laughs> dragonflies are my jam um floss lists as always from the uk you get the dmc the anchor and the madeira um and then it shows oh this is actually a box of delights embroidery hoops have been reimagined, and this is a lid somehow let's have a look that's just been simply hinged sorry the child is after a fruit patch just letting you know isn't that nifty if you can get your hands on this somebody actually mentioned how they can buy these hoops for i don't know 50 cents a pop over in the states that's a cool idea though um gluing them all and all you need is a pva glue <laughs> a wood glue <laughs> i always mix up my pvas and my pvcs stupid i know one's plastic and one's glue anyway you could glue these and then it just takes a simple little hinge at the back whether you even do it with a ribbon hinge or not is up to you um and then you put your actual work on the top as a like a miniature kind of pin cushion thing that's an awesome idea and would make a gorgeous gorgeous gift something that little bit different for a friend i think that's cool and then of course the bottom hoop you um you cover over as well and you could have it so that uh, you know it, it keeps things in it's not just a you know 
bottomless pit. All right. Um, moving along. For us to pass the post. Okay, so people can do competitions. So first pass the post if you were super, super quick on buying the magazine as soon as it was released and finishing the project, you get a prize. What do you get? She gets a selection of DMC stranded cottons in 20 colours. It may actually be worth your while buying magazines like this for competitions. I haven't seen in any of my other flip throughs competitions that give those kind of wins. So we have, uh, I think we have one or two stitchers in my Dark Queen of the Sea stitch along group. She does tend to stitch, but she can seriously be finished the full pattern within two days. Uh, yeah, she stitches super fast. She's got 20, I think it was 24 Hades done um, because of her speed. And she's got a whole heap of other things done. But I, ha I had to ask, I said, with that kind of stitching speed, you want to be doing Hades because that's just incredible. Um, 24, she had to count. She thought it was 22, went back and recounted it, said it was 24. Um, mini purse zips are a bitch to sew in um, they they are a challenge you need to have your head switched on for that but look this is cute for summer patterns you've got the orange you've got the watermelon and on this it's just the watermelon repeated as well and it says wash hands um, it just looks like a notions oh sorry it's got hand gel in it um, so yeah wash your hands keep a little fresh wipe in there a gel holder on that that's really cool and it shows you then how to finish it off how to sew in the ribbon and how to how to actually finish off the back so again using your pva glue you put it on cardboard you do the round the world kind of stitching and then you stick it with the glue and then you place it on a plastic lid um, to be able to screw on to whatever it needs to do. That's cool. Um, it's perfect project for the best cross stitcher magazine. Yeah, it's this one. Um, Susan and Martin Penny are the editors of this magazine. Subscriber benefits if you, if you subscribe to the magazine. You get a free kit. Uh, you shape the content. You save money with every issue. Mm, meh. Um, in a typical issue, they will give you, um, that would be a one year subscription for 60 pounds. That would be around about the $120 mark Australian, uh, soul stitcher. And I don't know if they do these internationally either. Um, but talk to your local news agency. They can always order in stuff, um, and get your regular subscription if you like them. Unfortunately, the one that I did like uh, was discontinued by Immediate Media. I was a bit devastated by that because I would have actually put my name down for that magazine. Part three for your home. That's the um, sampler style for Halloween. Sorry, Halloween, um, autumn. I think that's cool. Nice and simple, but you've got lots of things happening. So you've got the the girl on her bike, the guy raking up the leaves, the girl on the swing, cows in the field, the sun is smiling. <laughs> uh, you got some squirrels, some hedgehogs, some toadstools, uh, sunflowers, scarecrow, raven, crow, tractor, apples, and the autumn leaves. That's cool. And a good double page spread. That is two pages of the pattern. So nice and big for anyone who has any sight problems. That's really cool. Um, and it's funny, the actual, the face of the girl is kind of left as just the um, vague face. The, there's, there is five colors in that face. I was a bit doubtful initially. I thought, oh, they haven't put a face on. Um, now, your letters, musical instruments. So you've got an accordion. You've got a ukulele, that's not a ukulele, ute. ute? You, the, mm. what's the Y? No. Uh, e? That's not correct either. English horn? Looks like a tuba. So you got A for accordion, B for bagpipes, C for clarinet, D for drums, E for some kind of horn, F for flute, G for guitar, 
we've got H for harp. I for... Looks like a castanet. J for a Jew's harp. The one that you twang at your mouth. Uh, K for kazoo. L for lyre. M for maraca. N for some kind of drum. O for oboe, P for piano, Q for another kind of brass instrument, R for recorder, the one that you want to kill your children doing. And there's even punch out holes here so you can put these into a folder. Um, S for synthesizer, oh my god. T for timpani, that's actually quite a small timpani drum. Uh, U for ukulele, V for viola, W for washboard, X for xylophone, Y for whatever, oops, the the rounded back kind of string instrument is, and Z, 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 Z for some kind of string instrument. It doesn't tell you what they are, so I feel stupid. And then numbers for... Mm. Numbers. Well, there's a saxophone, a tambourine, there's a gong, there's a French horn, there's one of those thumb picky kind of music things. There's an electric guitar, triangle, pan pipes, and a four string. Oh, a banjo. One of those. Yeah. yeah it's pretty thorough. That's kind of cool. All right. Um,. Some more mini samplers, like tiny, tiny samplers. And traditional um, thing. And this is the one that I really liked. Um, showing cotton one thread, two thread, three, and then all the different machines. Your scissors, I love the stork scissors. They're sharp as all hell. They don't ever seem to come with a cover for the blades. Um, yeah, you do some serious damage on those. A um, lot of back stitch and very, very simple cross stitch. That's cool. Uh, now, this is the cushion. <laughs> During the photo shoot, a butterfly actually landed on the cushion there. <laughs> How cool is that? They've, they've written it in down here. And then they've got a little um cushion it looks like perforated mm, paper vinyl we'll see um it's oh no it's just a large count fabric with a daisy pin cushion too so these are the daisy pin cushion um so what's the fabric the fabric is well it's designed by maria diaz it's 58 by 58 Ah, here we go. Rico off white, four count. Ha <laughs> four count. Punched felt cushion. That's what that is. So let me go back to it. So four stitches per inch. And there are some vacant bits. There's some empty bits through here, through the middle. You know, you're not stitching every single stitch. Um, four count felt cushion. And then that's the pincushion picture. That's really cool. All right, here is the rat family. Oh no, hang on. It's a tiny tree house. It's not just this scene here that I thought it was. It's actually the whole darn thing. This is tree and stitched and the windows and this mummy mouse down underneath. That's so cool. It's a three-part design for you to enjoy. Sweet, oh sorry, they're mice, not rats. A sweet mouse house on the tree that's packed with detail. This month we give you the top section. Look at the detail. Like the shading on the mouse is so cool. The back stitching with the back of the arms with the fluff. Oh, that's all kinds of cute. And that is like full coverage. That's insane. So this is part two, and there is the pattern again. Crosses two pages, and gives you the full thing. And here's the finished design. Now, 
Um, there's the full thing. So you're getting this bit this week, this month. Last year they gave you the middle section of the treehouse and next month you receive the bottom of the chart. Okay, here's how the complete one will look and the final part will be issued, published in our October issue on sale 8th, 8th of September. Um, hang on just a second. Seems to be monthly, but it does come out a month in advance. So it might be in your shops at the end of the month. I mean, um, so yeah, the October issue goes on sale the 8th of October. But look at the details. Um, that's really cool. There's French knots. Oh, there's a French knot in the blind pull. Um, blending for subtle colors and thread shading for depth. That's really thorough. That's really cool. And it's done on a San Pedro 14 count white. Here's the Biscor news. So you've got the autumn leaves, you've got the hedgehogs, um, and you've got autumn house. So we've got Emma Condon, Doreen Jones did the hedgehogs, and Cheryl McKinnon has done the autumn house. So really nice and simple. And it's just fabric on the back. Um, oh, now Doreen Jones, who I love. Sorry, I made something move. This Biss Cornu design didn't turn out how I first intended. On reading the brief and seeing my colours, first thought was to create the most abstract design with lots of overlapping leaves in bold colours. But somehow while I was sketching, a little hedgehog worked his way in and it, he was just too cute to rub out. So he stayed and I developed the rest of the design around him. Uh, but still with leaves and autumn in mind. How cool is that? I love having design work that has a story. So the three challenges were challenged to come up with an original design based on their brief. Let me see. They gave seven thread shades uh, to design the pattern with. And that's what the three of them came up with. I think that's really, really cool. And I love that. Doreen has had an idea and it's run away with herself and yeah I think that's really really cool and it finishes off with um oh, I was just seeing plastic canvas nope the November challenge is to create a Christmas brooch with a retro vintage feel stitch on plastic canvas so the shape can be cut out and a pin added to the back keep it simple so it's easy to cut out uh, the materials can be a plastic canvas maximum stitch count 45 each, either direction as many red seed beads as you like a brooch back six shades of dmc chartreuse 703 parrot green 905 medium coral 350 bright canary 973 Winter White 3865 and Brown 611. That's your brief. Have at it. Uh, the Adventures of Alice. Now, Alice is getting so much airtime currently in both the stitching world and diamond painting. Here's the Duchess. Off with her head. That one. Nasty, nasty, ugly woman with the nose pointed up uh, shows how to do fractionals French knots adding back stitch to details subscription blurby bit there and then at the very end you get uh, let me you might want to pause sorry I'm just trying to get it on the camera if you want to pause let me zoom so you're not feeling like you're blind. There you go. Mm, that seems to be even worse. Why is it not focusing? Um, anyway. There's a cross stitch. There's a Sudoku if you were interested in doing that. That's it. Um, next month, October shows these gorgeous flowers on the windowsill there's reindeer and christmas designs for october um yeah as i said it's already december for me so yeah 
flying ahead. Um, and then it's showing you sneak peeks inside. So yeah, mm, look, um, that one certainly didn't float my boat. But um, I don't know, might be something that you can consider. Your Christmas bumper pack, reindeer is your decoration kit that you can get, I think for the bonus. But I like the stunning, the seasonal windowsill. That's kind of nice. But yeah, there you go in a bit more detail. And um, you can check that out in more detail. So it's issue 361 if you're interested in catching up with any of those. If you have any um, comments that you'd like to um, drop in, tell me what your projects, you know, that you might have used would be your favorite project. Um, let me know. Um, answers on the postcard, please. I really, really loved that little project with the hoops. I think that's really cute. And if you've got anyone who's into stitching or sewing or buttons, bead craft even, that they needed to keep notions in or anything like that, that's a really, really cool idea, including people who I've come across recently who can't cross stitch anymore, but really have that love for cross stitch. So that's something that they might not be able to do the stitching, but they might be able to throw their buttons in, they might be able to throw their notions in and, um, you know, still have something that is, you know, close to their heart too. So I think that's really, really cool. Um, I think you could kind of broaden your range with that. And um, yeah, yeah, it's really, really fun. All right, uh, this is five pound, it's 4.99 in the UK so whatever your conversion might be um, in your own news agency um, but yeah it, certainly worth checking out um, Warner's Media Warner's Group Publications even it's very very small all right thank you for watching uh, please click like subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and I will see you around on the tube bye for now may the road rise up to meet you May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.